Hello everyone, um, it's Stieferg back again with another video on YouTube, it's always good. Um, today is my first um, kind of unboxing, even though this isn't a box, um, or kind of initial reaction um, to a product. Um, I think I know what this is, I think it is something for the beard. So um, I'm sorry for all you non-bearded people. Hopefully you still enjoy my little kind of first impressions and first look at this. But um, for those bearded people out there, maybe you will get something from this. So um, so here we go. It is coming from Grace Church Street in London. What a name of a street. Grace Church Street. I love that. Okay, what do we got? What do we have in the packet today? I don't know, I don't know. My candle just blew out. Oh no. Put that over there. Okay. Oh yes. We have some beard <coughs> beard balm, sorry, as I choke. Oh, one's falling out. Okay. So we have some Products from um, Beardology. See if you see that Beardology um, Beard Balm Barber Shop. Maybe I'll just take a look at this. It says it is handmade in Cleveland, Ohio. Wow. Ingredients: castor seed oil, cetyl alcohol. Oh, I don't even know how to say half of this. Anyway, a heap of oils, beeswax. Um, some different fragrance thing. It is a, is that a screw top? It is a screw top. Oh, oh yes. That smells great. This is the barbershop one. It is, um, very white. Probably should have put a light on in this room, but Everything looks everything looks really bright. Um, it's kind of white. The consistency. Oh, it's hard. It is quite hard. Sorry, I'm too close to the camera. It is. Um, it is quite hard, which I think is good. That is a little bit that came off there. It is. Um, it's quite firm and butter-like from the fridge. I'll put that back. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these products out and I'll give you a kind of more um, extensive review. But the initial the initial smell is really nice. It's quite a, I don't know, the smell of a dude, barbershop. Mm, it's nice. It's, it's fresh. I'll have a think about what other things I'm smelling there. But that is the first one I got was Barbershop. Now, um, <clears throat> I actually got this one because, um, as I said in a, in a previous video, the Sultan of Silver, uh, George Bruno, Gray Bailey from YouTube, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, who has a huge beard. Please do check him out and subscribe to his channel. But he had a beard balm that was actually a barbershop beard balm or something. I remember him saying something about it and maybe it was barbershop. I can't even remember. But when I saw barbershop, I thought I'm going to try that out. And I know that George works in a barbershop um, as a hairdresser. So a little ode to George Bruno right there. That's the first one. The second one um, is kind of another little ode to George, but also someone else. Um that's close to me in my life and your initial thought might be a beard balm with this fragrance, what on earth? And I don't know what it's gonna be like. Um, I've never tried Beardology before, it's my first time. But this one is, see if you can read that, without it being too bright. Is that too bright? Let me see. That's a little bit, that's better. Um, tobacco. <laughs> now, some of you might be thinking, um, tobacco, really? Now, again, this was something that I was thinking about, but the kind of fragrance that I was looking for here is not like cigarettes. It's not an ashtray. I must, you know, I'm just going to say right now, I've never smoked in my life. I don't, it doesn't appeal to me. Um, just for the reason that 
I don't like the smell of cigarettes. It doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. Of course, there's the obvious health stuff that smoking cigarettes, um, the implications it has for you. But this, I, the reason I got this was my uncle Dan, my godfather, um, he smokes a pipe, and there's there's never been anything that's appealed to me about cigarettes, but. When I went down to visit him um, at quite a young age, he'd always have his pipe and he'd always be smoking his pipe and the smell was like quite comforting and it was quite like, um, it was it was nice, like I can't really describe it, I've, I've, I've not um, smoked a pipe myself, but the smell was just so um, comforting and warm and, and it just gave me good vibes. So basically I wanted to kind of get that kind of fragrance, so we'll see what it's like. Hmm, it's nice. What's it got in it? Different oils, beeswax. Yeah, it, it doesn't really smell of a pipe, <laughs> um, if I'm honest. Again, it's quite, it's quite white. I'll see if I get this brightness down. We're going raw here, guys, so I apologize um, for all the different kind of pauses and whatever we're not cutting these videos um we're just going for it but yeah so it smells pleasant it smells pleasant again nothing like cigarette smell nothing at all like that stay away from cigarettes do not don't smoke don't don't harm your body like that with cigarettes it's not good for you but this doesn't smell and i was trying to as i say go for the kind of pipe smell um and it doesn't immediately give me that scent um or for at least what I was thinking of. So we'll see how it goes. But the barber shop, another quick smell. Yep, very fresh, very nice indeed. The tobacco one. I can't put my finger on it. In my second video about it, I might um, have more of a clue about what I'm actually talking about. But that was just an initial reaction. Um, I bought these from eBay, as you can see these two uh, Beardology products, bought them from eBay. Um, they both smell really pleasant. There's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't, it's not really what I was expecting for the tobacco one. Obviously it doesn't say pipe tobacco, which maybe is my problem. Um, but the barbershop one is super fresh. Um, so that would be nice to get on the beard and feel super fresh. And, and yeah, it should be good. But my, um, I have a quite limited uh, knowledge of, of beard bams. Um, I've had one that I've been using recently. I also got a couple other ones before, but I'm still quite new to the beard bam kind of game, as you, as you say. So yeah, so I'll just have to try them out and see what I think. I'll let you know, um, give you a little bit of a fuller lowdown on how it went and what it did for the beard, whether it held well or whatever. Um, but yeah, so if anyone's got any recommendations on different beard bams to try, then please do let me know. Comment below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know what beard bams I should be using. Um, yeah, but I, I bought these from eBay. They were quite good in price. I think it was four pounds each, I think, something like that. And it is a, just to let you know, a one ounce tin, which I think is like 30 mil or something like that. So they're fairly good in size. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand like that. I've had beer bams, this is a little candle, I've had beer bams that have been like that size, like really small, like 15 mils, and they kind of run out quite quickly, but they're good for a, a tryer. But anyway, 30 mil tins, we'll see how it goes. We'll give it a little bit of a different review. This is a bit of a different video um, to my other videos, you know, different from the song covers and different from the other kind of thoughts that I have, but... I thought there might be some people out there that are actually interested in what to do with your beard. And I don't really know myself, but I'm on the learning curve. Um, I usually, as I'm saying, I'm watching people like the Sultan of Silver, George Bruno, Gray Bailey on YouTube, and he's just terrific, awesome dude. And he kind of, I, I look to him for a lot of what I, I do with my beard. <laughs> he gives me some great advice. Um, just by watching YouTube. He's a great guy. Anyway, subscribe to him um, and I will let you know how this goes. But that is basically it from me for tonight. 
as I always say, I hope you're doing well. I hope that um, whatever's going on in your life, that you know that you're loved, that you're important, that you're valuable, that you matter, and that whatever you're going through, there's going to be light at the end of that tunnel. Just keep going. Never give up. It's going to get better. So thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.